They came, they saw, and they both conquered. I think after this video, it's time to move on. Here we are and Royalties World put out another video. I saw my notification when it first came out, but it took me a whole day later because I have a full-time job and I can't be filming at work. But here I am now, and I'm going to react to Neek's video called I'm Sorry. I'm hoping she's apologizing for her first video that she did against Jay, only because her approach with the whole situation came off wrong. It kind of did not make her look too good. So let's see what this video is about, and let's react to it. I think that, I think that wreck, did both of them wrecks was meant for her. She should have been a I didn't mean it like I wish she got into the accident and and you know was hurt mm -hmm. because i don't wish death on people and that's not wishing death wishing death is i wish you die right i would never okay. wish death on anyone I, okay i have something to say about that already but go ahead i was saying i wish you were in my shoes because what i went through you you haven't experienced that you know what i'm saying so for you to bring it up years later and make a mockery out of that I was hurt. But why even that? Even though you've struggled in life and you know what it did to you. So why even wish somebody else to go through what you went through? That alone is still saying the same damn thing to me, in my opinion. Okay. So I said it out of pain and anger. Do you regret saying it? Okay. That right there is honest. She said it out of pain and anger. And we've all been there before, so. By the way, I am going into this video with an open mind. Um, even though I understood Jay's side a lot more. Neek's first video came off really wrong. Her approach was horrible. Maybe in this video she can explain herself better. What's up y'all, it's your girl Neek G the Ho. I am being interviewed by Amia Jackson. Um, I'm gonna put her social media up on the screen and tonight I'm coming to you all humbly. Um, here recently I made a comment that shouldn't have been made and it was made out of anger and I would like to speak with you all about this comment and I would like to express on other things that are, is going on in my mind mentally and I want y'all to truly understand where I'm coming from okay. and before you judge me at least hear my side of the story. Okay. Um, this is an interview about me period okay this is not to shame anyone or expose anyone i would like you all i'm already liking this video i'm already liking her approach in this video she's not going to be combative she's not going to retaliate she's not going to expose she's here specifically to just talk about what she's going through and her state of mind at the time i'm assuming that she made that comment okay let's hear to know that my words were definitely manipulated in that entire video um it's not what you say it's how you say it and regardless as to what i said i have been out of my character and it should have been said period but in the interview it will explain everything that has happened and why i said anything and i would like to say i'm sorry to all of the people that follow me my um, family the people that believe in me i'm sorry and if you still rock with me, just hear me out. Enjoy. So you know I did an interview. Um, I really wish they had a microphone because I hate that echo sound. You know, like the the one with the arm and the mic sits right over above them, where you can't really see it in the in the screen. She needs that. Nick, if you're listening, get yourself uh, one of those type of mics with a arm stand. Because it, it makes, it creates magic, I swear. We'll be able to hear you clearly. Based on pretty much something that you saw me alive, that kind of shocked me and um, made me uncomfortable where I feel like, you know, ask somebody who, you know, is around you and puts you on a pedestal, it's only right that we play this and figure out, you know, why these things are said because you know, it was tough. It was like an ouch when I heard it. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm only being real with you, bro. All right, so let's just go ahead and roll it. Oh, 
don't give a fuck. So this is the comment that was said. This is her, this is the recording that I was shocked by and I heard and I don't blame Jay for being so upset and this was the reason why she's like, bye. I am never coming, I am never coming back. Let's hear it again. Okay, so you already knew that the tires were bald and it was raining. You still chose to drive that car. To the right, I closed my eyes and I went flying across the highway with oncoming traffic coming. That's scary. Which means if I would have got hit by one of those 18 wheelers, I could have potentially passed. For them, sure, that's which scary. Which is a very sentimental thing that has happened to me that has given me PTSD with driving, especially in the rain. Something she knows. Right. To me, my wife is actually go that is actually going through that. She hates to drive in the snow and in the rain because she hit a baby. Babe, yeah. when you got into the car accident in the snow, was it the snow or the rain? rain. In the rain, what did you hit? A light pole. She hit a light pole. Did you spin? Yeah, I did a 360 and hit the light pole. She did a 360 and hit the light pole. So, so that's what gave her PTSD, and I don't think I don't even think she considers it that term, but that's what it is. When it rains, she has, either has to get rides or she needs to get picked up. She will not drive in. She made a mockery out of me getting into that car accident because if that was something that was so deep to me, which she knows, um, why would you bring up damages? Not only would you bring up damages, you brought up damages that weren't even supposed to be paid because your father was getting rid of the car in the first place. Mm -hmm. So, was I wrong for saying that, you know, she, I wished her, she got into the wreck? I didn't mean it like I wish she got into the accident and, and you know, was hurt. Mm -hmm. Because I don't wish death on people, and that's not wishing death. Wishing death is I wish you die. Right. I would never right. wish death on anyone. I was saying, I wish you were in my shoes because what I went through, you you haven't experienced that. You know what I'm saying? So for you to bring it up years later and make a mockery out of that, I was hurt. Okay. So I said it out of pain and anger. Do you regret saying that? Yes. A lot of people like me. I don't know if I believe that though. I don't know if I believe that. I think in a way she does. She does regret it because she doesn't want her character to be known as this evil person wishing death on people. And especially in this business, you can lose a lot of a lot of work with other people. I think this is more, I don't know, we'll see. When I first seen it, <clears throat> I was trying to figure out, was you on the phone when you, yeah. was you was live? Was oh, you, you were on live. Music? YouTube, one of them. Oh, so you oh, so some people already heard this. I thought it was a secret recording, but I guess it was live. I got angry and you went and you just started like putting most of the Yeah. And a lot of people um, were saying things, and I've been 
really being, and I've been antagonized since all this started, because um, she's been on the internet publicly, just embarrassing me. Who went to the internet first? From my understanding, she went to the internet first because when I, when I got on live, people started talking about the phone instantly. Mm -hmm. But she likes to put up lives and delete them. Mm -hmm. So to be honest, it could be miscommunication. I don't know whether she went first, oh. but I was told, like, it was, it was like, why don't you want to pay your phone bill? Mm -hmm. We just went through that. So what are you talking about? You know what I'm saying? Um, after that whole phone situation happened and, you know, me and her going back and forth, I, I was just gray. Uh, I, I'm hurt, man. You, but you do understand how much like you are a value of people and people look up to you. The things that you say, they attach. She meant that. She meant what she said right now. That she's hurt. To every word, you understand that, right? Yes. My words have definitely been manipulated. Okay. Why do you say that? Because the way she... That, see, that, I don't understand that. It's not necessarily how Jay is manipulating her words. Those words came out of your mouth. Now, people may interpret it the wrong way. Maybe that's not what your intentions were, but that's what was said, and especially when you're angry. I mean, who knows what that means? You know what I mean? But the way I took it personally was kind of wishing death on somebody. You don't have to necessarily say those words. She's making everything sound as if I'm saying it maliciously. Mm -hmm. But as an adult, we've all been in situations where we argue with our exes. True. Publicly, not so many. Right. So everybody True. doesn't know how this feels. Mm -hmm. Also, everybody doesn't know how it feels to care for someone so much and they decide that they will just do you like this. So, what? I mean, that's true. Now that we have social media, I think there's a lot of public breakups. A lot of public breakups. But not everyone has a following like they do. So when you're followed by so many people, it's like, it's horrible. Because then so many people get involved in your business. And they already think of you in this way without knowing you on a personal level. Okay, let's say Jay was wrong for publicly exposing Neek. Okay? Embarrassing her publicly. Nick has to also keep in mind that Jay only has 30,000 subscribers. Nick has, I think, 160, if I'm not, was it 150, 160,000 sub subscribers. She's being heard a lot more. She's being heard a lot louder than Jay is. So anything she says, more people will hear and more people will listen to. Just putting that out there. So I want to focus on that one particular thing. I don't want to go too much into details about all of that. I'm just telling you about the part that disturbed me a little bit. Yes. What do you want to tell the people that watched that and it was like, whoa, you know? Come I, on, I, what would you say to them? I'm sorry to you all because, first of all, me getting out of character like that, I mean, I'm, I'm disgusted with myself, to be honest, you know what I'm saying? I didn't mean it in the way that it was presented. I will say that I don't ever wish death on anyone and I did not wish death on anyone. I said something about a car accident which had nothing to do with death. I want to make that clear because that was manipulated. But uh, what I did say, I regret saying, I'm sorry um, for saying that, period. Girl, don't apologize to us. You don't know us personally. I apologize to Jay. She's the one that you brought that you were talking about. I think she needs that apology. That's your real. That's your real. People make mistakes. You know what I'm saying? For sure. One hundred percent. And I think that's what's most important. <coughs> yeah. I I out of everybody I really want my uh family to know that uh y'all know my heart. Most of you know my heart. Um, it's a lot going on on the internet that's child's play, but I'm talking to the adults who have been in situations where they had ex-girlfriends or ex-boyfriends and we talk to them crazy. Not like that though. Not like that though. Don't, don't, speak, don't speak for me because when I break up with somebody, the worst thing I ever say about them is calling them out of their name, which is bitch. Because when, when we finally break up, 
Saying that word feels so fucking good to finally say it. I'm like, that bitch, this bitch, blah, 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 blah. But I would never say stuff like that, though. Not everyone would say something like that. And you flip out and you say crazy things that you don't mean. And I want it to be known that I'm not perfect. You know, I've been holding in so much for so long and I still am. And it's mentally crushing me right now. Mm -hmm. And I, that shit, like, kind of like, ouch, it hurted me to hear you say that. So I feel like you don't want to get pushed to a point where you're saying things that's out of your character. So at this point, you have to put yourself first to protect your mental because your mental come before anything. 100%. You two, relationships. 100%. Anything, you got to make sure Nick is good by any means necessary. Can I ask you a question? Of course. How do you... What's on your mind? Like, the people that you helped. Mm -hmm. And I don't mean, you know, um, financially. Mm -hmm. This is beyond finances. To people that you once cared for, you know what I'm saying? You would do anything for. Mm -hmm. And you still don't, you still don't say anything about them to I mean, to defame them or to, to degrade them, to jeopardize anything mm -hmm. publicly, you know what I'm saying? And you still don't say anything. Do you know how that feels? I know how it feels, but not to the extent where you're at because you're just being publicly this Right, so true. I'm saying to hold people down and then they, they publicly like, so I answer that. But girl, hold on though. But hold on. You were you were going to post a video exposing Jay. You posted up that first video, basically letting everyone know at the end to stay tuned. Okay, that you were gonna basically bring up another video. You were gonna expose her, but she got to it first. And because of the comment that you made, and in that live and they and she brought it out even more you're not gonna make yourself look even worse which is a great idea that's the best decision you can ever make in this situation because you need you you both need to move on you both need to move on this whole back and forth thing is not gonna work out for your for yourselves you just need to move the fuck on I have to say no. You know, um, I have been holding back so much um, for the past several years now, to be honest. I feel like I lost my way in um, the emotional side of me uh, because I was trying my best to hold things down, I feel like. It kind of took control of me, um, and now it's 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 anger. It's coming out as anger. It sounds like, you know, I'm just mad because I I'm just mad. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? When in all actuality, I feel like I'm trying to protect someone else. How do you cope with what you're going through? Do you have anything that you do outside of? making videos, how do you cope with these issues that you're facing? Black people in particular, we don't take our mental health as we need to. Mm -hmm. And like, sometimes we need to talk to a therapist. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I highly recommend stuff like that because... I recommend that too. For the very first time, I've gone through depression throughout my life. Um, one of my worst depressions was when I was 16. The absolute worst depression was, was, was on my 22nd birthday where I contemplated suicide. And recently, the last, I would say, year, two years, I'm, I've been going through depression. And it's, it's really bad right now, but I have a family that keeps me here and that keeps me somewhat sane. But for the very first time, I went to therapy 
and this was recently and let me tell you it helps in so many ways they don't solve your problems but they give you the tools that you need to work on your mental Nick I know for sure from my experience that you're going through depression and I've been noticing this for the last few months since you've been on YouTube I've noticed that you were going through stuff it's okay to seek help you're talking to a stranger and you letting out everything. They're not gonna judge you. You don't know them. Get to get up, poof, and walk away from it. So with these things that you're fighting with to bury yourself to the level, you can't face these problems by yourself, bro. You can't. And this is just like off the record type shit. Like me just telling you, like you have to take steps and do things to better yourself, bro. Okay. You can't be looking good on the outside and inside ain't good. And then you end up exploding. Face, like what you, you end up exploding at the wrong time and on the wrong people. You really go through it. When you don't face that pain, you know what I'm saying? It's a different feeling. You have to face it. You gotta go towards it. You can't run from it. But I can't speak on it. At this point, I don't know. But you speaking on someone else is not helping you mentally. What you're basically saying is that you're protecting someone who has hurt you. But what does that have to do with your mental state? Forget Jay. Forget the whole situation. Focus on yourself. Focus on how you're feeling. What's going through your mind. Talk about it. Not with us. With somebody like your friend here in private or a therapist. I'm telling you. Forget Jay, forget the situation. Let that go. Let that go because you holding on to all that is gonna create more problems for you. I don't know how to speak. What would make you feel better? What what would make me what would make you feel better? Like, do you wanna do a video and be like, no, da, 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 da? like what no. would you feel like don't do I'm it? To be honest, no, because I I know the things that I could say would still hurt another person um and I don't I don't want to hurt anyone though and who cares what we think about you guys you know you try if you were to expose Jay that only creates other people judging her how does that make your life better it doesn't because by the end of the day you know only you know what you went through and how you see Jay and how Jay was to you. So because you know, that's, the, that's when you make the decision of leaving. Leaving the situation. Leaving Jay behind. That's all. You're the only person that needs to know. None of us do. That was never my intention. That's not your heart. Then don't be smiling at you now. I'm hurt. So, I guess I'm gonna have to figure that part out. Mentally, I am You're broken. I'm broken. That's definitely right. I'm broken. I mean, guess what? That feeling that you're going through is very relatable. It's 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 a reason why this stuff is happening. And you have to figure out the reason. Nobody can tell you this is why you're going through this. You know what I'm saying you had everything you go through in life is a reason. Every experience, you might not see it right now, you might not see it today, <laughs> but in a couple more picking days, weeks, or months, it's all going to make sense to you. You just got to stay strong, bro. You have a, a dope support system around you. You know what I'm saying? You might not feel like it because you, know, you always feel like you're alone, but there's people praying for you, rooting for you, and showing you a lot of genuine love. A lot of genuine love. Because people don't expect people that are so strong to ever be hurt or be down. We feel like, no, you could never be hurt or be down, but... I feel like yeah, that's yeah. what people... I feel like that's what people expect out of me. You know what I'm saying? To be strong all the time because I never show... But Nick, I, I saw through all that. Your lives, before this whole drama, I saw through all that. I saw through it. Through it all. Because the way Nick deals with hurt is pretending like it doesn't bother her so she'll be talking like huh like she, she don't like she don't care like she don't care what people gotta say people gotta do that girl you're human you are human you're gonna feel every emotion that anybody else feels 
So trying to pretend like things don't bother you is not gonna help you become a stronger person. Um, like I don't look at this as weakness. Mm -hmm. I don't look at this as pain. Like it takes a special kind of person to do what you're doing. Everybody can take that mission from God and do it. God only gives you what you can handle. And Nick, from what I know, the stuff that you've been through in life, God knows that you're strong enough to, to get through it. If, if he felt that you couldn't do it, you wouldn't be here right now. But you're here, so you can get through anything. So, you know what I'm saying? Take that mission of pride. So what do you do? You know, what you always do. Roll with the punches, girl. Roll with the punches and keep it moving. I just want to say for the past few years, I've been broken. And um, it's time for me to take control of my life. For sure. I, I'm sorry uh, that I offended any of uh, my family. And I've been holding on to pain for a very long time and I have had enough. Well, I mean, what is there to say about that? I mean, I'm just glad that this was not an exposed video, okay, exposing Jay. Cause it is time to move on guys. And especially to all of the supporters, all the subs that are with Jay and that are with Nick. If you guys truly believe they're gonna get back together, they're not, it's not gonna happen. All this has created so much hurt and pain and anger to the point where they don't need to be together anymore. They just don't. And that's okay. People come into our lives for reasons, for whatever reason that is. Sometimes it's just meant to be temporary. But you learn a lesson after every person you come across. So this was a phase. Take what you need to get from it and just move on. Move on. All right. Just like I said, I'm a supporter of Nick, I'm a supporter of Jay. This was a situation that happened and I'm just here to react to it, that's all. My opinions only doesn't mean it's factual. All right, y'all, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And please turn on your notifications. And don't forget about Bliss and Pris. That's the channel that I have with my wife. It's our vlogging, vlogging channel. You can subscribe at the end of this video. See y'all in the next video. Peace.